I'm still recovering. I still have a few little um, sick things I have to take care of, one of which is taking medication. So I have a little chart so I remember to take it morning and evening until everything is used up. So thank you everyone for your patience. It was awful being sick. I just hate being out of commission like that, but I literally could not talk. My throat hurt so bad. And so I don't know if this is like, I think it's been like two weeks since I've done a stamp and chat with Kay on a Facebook Live. And so sad, isn't it? So anyway, thank you for all the good well wishes throughout the days as I was recovering. And uh, I've got a lot of cards to show you from stamping friends and downline members. And then I have a paper pumpkin kit to show you. And I have a little tea tin that I decorated to show you. And <laughs> Deb, you better get ready with a catalog next to your elbow as I do this because I'll probably forget something. So it's always nice to have Deb botching because she helps me figure out things that I completely forget the name of. I always can remember it when I'm not doing a Facebook Live, but the second I start doing a Facebook Live, my mind will just go blank. So anyway, it's great to have you guys all here. Oh yes, I see people are sharing. You guys know the, the routine, don't you? So when you share this video on your timeline, you can get, and, and then of course you have to let me know you've shared, but you get to get into a drawing that I will do on Wednesday because this is Monday so I'll do it on Wednesday and what will you get you will get two yards of our braided trim from Stampin Up along with the Valentine cards that we're going to make today and the Valentine cards just happen to use the braided trim on them so that's going to work out perfectly and I actually have uh, two kinds of Valentine cards prepared for you today, one of which will be a little bit of an experiment, and I'm not even going to do it if we don't have time. It just depends how long this goes. I'll show it to you guys, and you can tell me if you want me, me to try to do that. Um, but otherwise, we're going to be making these really cute four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch Valentines. And they're just so sweet. I love Valentines that are a little bit different size from the normal Valentine card. And so I'll be flipping the camera down in a second here to give you a better idea of what that looks like. And then I also have this Valentine card, which is a regular standard sized card um, that I made with the, oh, what is it called? The All My Love product suite. That, that's what this little um, Facebook stamp and chat with Kay is all about. So it's really pretty. It uses some framelits, so I thought, well, if I have time, I'll show you guys how to make this one too. And hopefully I'll do it right because I made this, oh, so long ago. I don't even know if I'm going to remember how to do it. So that is my backup plan. But meanwhile, I'm going to flip the camera down and we are going to get started. I'm going to show you some fun paper pumpkin stuff first and then we'll, we'll get rolling here. So just a second. Right. Let me get the paper pumpkin out of the way a second so you can see the cards we're going to make. The first card we're going to make today is this little beauty. And I'll show you how to recreate this. It's so pretty. And it just says, Happy Valentine's Day. And then on the inside, wishing you a lovely day. And it's got a little tiny heart on the inside as well. This is the card that I'll be giving away in the drawing on Wednesday, along with two yards of this lovely braided trim. Again, the way to get into the drawing is to just go ahead and comment on this Facebook Live between now and the time that I do it, the drawing, or to share the Facebook Live between now and the time that I do the drawing. So these are the pretty Valentine cards we're going to make. So let me set those aside for a minute. This is the second option of cards we're going to make today. I hope I have time to do it, but if I don't, I will spare you and we'll do this on another day. But it's very pretty. Um, and a very simple card. I mean, there's not too many layers, and that's just a nice standard size Valentine's card. And now let me show you Paper Pumpkin because one thing that you can do with Paper Pumpkin, Stampin' Up's been making such cool ones lately, is you can actually get celebration products with a Paper Pumpkin subscription. And the way you do that is by ordering a three-month prepaid subscription, a six-month prepaid subscription, or just go ahead and get a whole year's worth of Paper Pumpkin. 
And I'll show you an example of what a kit looks like, but this is fun because it's just, it's just fun in a box. You never know what it's gonna be. It could be 3D, it could be cards, but it's always darling. So let me show you the one that we got in January, which actually was a 3D, which is perfect for giving away little Valentine goodies. Um, we always like to get a little candy on Valentine's Day. So these were all of the little treat holders. And then I have some that are done up. So these are the ones done up exactly the way Stampin' Up! did them. So let me just show you how darn cute these are. Oh my gosh, when you see them in real life, you have to squeal the whole time you're making them because they're just so pretty and cute. I just love them. So hopefully you can see these real well. Um, I'll hold them up. So you get everything in the kit to create these. I mean, you may want to provide some of your own adhesives if you prefer something different, but it's just really, it's just a really cute, cute kit. And of course, these are little pillow boxes, so you can open up one end and stuff a little candy treat in there, or a gift card, or movie tickets, or um, whatever you want to put in there. Oops. And then you want to put it in so that this little guy this is like where the little edge is here that is supposed to go here so that it's easy to open up actually it's the other way that little guy goes in first and then okay so let me start over the way you open these up is you open up the end piece and then there's a little hook in there that you can get your finger in and open that up too so you always want to make sure that you have this little opening towards the inside so you can put your finger in there and open that up so that's the correct way to do a little pillow box. All right, so let me set those out of the way. And I wanted to show you a couple of alternative ideas for this set. Here's a couple of little Valentine cards that are so cute. It says, you're one in a chameleon. And then, of course, it's just darling. And it uses all of these little supplies. But of course, we... Um, we did also use the rectangular stitch framelits on here and um, we used the small memories and more uh, envelopes and cards to create this cute cute valentine so here's another one you're so fly which for those of you that aren't in um, into slang you're so fly kind of is another way of saying you're so cool so it's just a little bit of slang there for you but it's super cute and so again the memories and more cards and envelopes and then just those darling little cutouts from the um, paper pumpkin that was this past January which is no longer available but I wanted to show you some ideas with it um, because you want to order these before the 10th of the month in order to be in on it. And so the final little bit I'm going to show you is that this stamp set that came in with the paper pumpkin, because you always get a stamp set and an ink pad, it actually coordinates with the stamp set that's in the catalog called Animal Outing. So when you use the two together, you can really make some cool, cool cards. And so Stampin' Up! provided three ideas for the um, animal expedition. And here it is. Here's the first one. And again, these are full-size cards. And this is a baby card, so it says, Welcome, Little One. Here is Thank You Big Time. Just a cute little thank you card. And again, um, these all three are full-size cards. And then here is the final one. Together we make a great pair. Happy Valentine's Day. So another Valentine's idea for you. Um, based on the ideas that Stampin' Up! gave us right in this box. So I just wanted to share that with you. The paper pumpkin kits are just extraordinary. I love them. I'm so glad to get them every month. And it makes crafting on the go really fun. Comes in a great little box and you can take it with you. So, for those of you interested in trying out Paper Pumpkin, it's a great time to do it because when you order either a 3, 6, or 12 month subscription, you can get free celebration products, which is awesome. Now, I want to show you a little tea tin that I created. So, this is Harney and Sons tea, and all I did was decorate it with our Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper, which is one of our celebration items. And you can see, I just I just put it on this little tea tin, just cut it to size, wrapped it around, and then embellished it with some 
uh, washi tape from our annual catalog. So it's a great little tea. I had one of my daughter's boyfriend bought me brought me back some tea from California, and that's that's why I was inspired to go ahead and create this so that I had a special place to put it. And so thank you, Jackson, for doing that. I just love it. And then of course I love doing things that you know every time I look at them makes me happy. So of course a decorated tea tin definitely makes me happy. So I had to show you that on camera because that's a hard one to take a picture of. Then I want to show you some beautiful cards that I got in the mail. This is a Valentine cards, and I got this from my downline member, Carol Sullivan. She lives down in Florida, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous Valentine card that uses the Serene Garden uh, bundle. So you can see she cut out this bird and some of the florals. She used Stampin' Blends. She's got some little glitter dots here, and then she's got the little love uh, message that the bird is holding as it swoops down to to give you this beautiful Valentine card and so I just love it thank you so much Carol the second card that I'm going to share with you is a card that I got from another downline member this one is Patty from Virginia and she gave me a thank you card to thank me for the cards that I sent to her so um, in my group I send cards out to my top 10 I send Valentine cards out typically um, which I just did. That's the cards I'm going to show you how to make today. And she just loved getting cards. I also send them out for people who, um, you know, are swappers. So I like to do swap cards with my downline. So we have a lot of fun in our downline group. So if you're interested in joining my group, please contact me because we have such a good starter kit special right now. And we would just love to have you. And the next card, again, from a Downline member, this is from Stacy. She's from Monticello, Minnesota, and she is also one of my Downline members. She actually has a Facebook page called Sassy Stamping, and she made this beautiful card. It uses the, uh, oh boy, now I just forgot, delightfully detailed stamp set, I think, because I think that's where the happy birthday is come, coming from. And then she has this delightful laser paper in the background and all of this gorgeous paper from our occasions catalog. And my birthday was just recently, so I just, I just love how she decorated this card. And it's so elegant. She's got a little bit of the, um, whoa, what do you call that? The metallic thread here and some pretty ribbon from our occasions and then of course this is our vellum from the occasions it's just beautiful so thank you Stacy for that then I have another thank you card from a downline member she lives in Roseville Minnesota her name is Dawn and again she's so sweet every little thing that I do for her I swear she sends me a thank you card I told her she doesn't have to do that but she's so good at stamping and she can whip those cards out so beautifully and perfectly so she sends them out a lot so I really love that so she used the Share What You Love product suite. And look at this gorgeous designer series paper. I love how it just shimmers when you um, hold it up to the light. And my next card is from a customer. You can see I haven't been on um, a Stampin' Chat in a long time because I've just had a backlog of cards that I've gotten in the mail that I haven't been able to show you. So I'm so glad I'm feeling better and can do this today. But this card is from Sherry. She's one of my, my customers here in Lionel Lakes. And she created this beautiful, beautiful card with the wishing you well. And I think um, Knight of Navy. And then it looks like she used Old Olive. It's just a gorgeous combination. So this is one of the carryover items. So it almost seems like you wouldn't be able to order this because it was in our holiday catalog. But this is one of those featured on the back page of the occasions catalog that did carry over. So it's still available. And I mean, who wouldn't want this gorgeous um, see-through bow? So that's a, one of our distinctive stamps that almost looks like a photograph. It's so pretty. Then Elaine Hicks, one of my fans thank you Elaine she loves to watch my Facebook lives um, and she created this really cute birthday card I have to open it up for you uh, it says happy birthday let's face it and when you whip it open oh my god there's this wiggly butt right here in the air it says aging is a pain in the rear well I can vouch for that seems like the second I 
I turned my latest birthday, I got sick, so that was no fun. But, but cards like this really brighten my day, so thank you so much, Elaine. That was just adorable. And another customer, um, this lady is also named Elaine, but she is um, a customer here that lives fairly close by in Minnesota, and she created this beautiful Dandelion Wishes card for me, and look at that sponging. Talk about beautiful. So she embossed with uh, Whisper White powder on a piece of Whisper White paper, and then she went in with a sponge and created, you know, kind of that um, ink resist that's just beautiful. So love that card. And then... I went out to my mailbox before all this went live and got some more cards. So here's another one. This is from Kathy Kirchner, and she's also one of my fans here on Facebook. And she orders ribbon shares or paper shares from me. So thank you so much. And she actually sent me a Get Well card. So this was good timing because I am just in those first days of feeling better. So I was really grateful to get this, and it it makes me happy to see this card. So thank you so much, Kathy. It's so appreciated. And then another card from a customer. This is from Elaine. And it's so beautiful. It's a gorgeous thank you card. And it uses, you know what I love, my rainbow grapefruit grove foil celebration paper here. And she, she did it both on the uh, sentiment, which is the well said bundle that she used, where she took the thank you from, from that. And then she also used that humming along stamp set that has this, I'm not sure what the name of that flower is, but it kind of looks like uh, hibiscus, I think. I've seen those in, in Hawaii when I was there on my last Stampin' Up! trip. And I think that's a hibiscus. But it's beautiful. She colored it gorgeously with Stampin' Blends. She's a big fan of Stampin' Blends and has, I believe, every single color that Stampin' Up! offers. All right, so I will set these aside because those are everything that I wanted to share today. And now I'm going to share with you the All My Love Designer Series paper. Thank you, Deb. Deb just clarified it is a hibiscus. So, yay, I was right. And this is the paper that we're going to use on our four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch cards. And so you can use, every, in fact, I made over 70 of these cards to send out to my downline. And I will tell you that every single one of these papers was implemented in the design of my card. And there was not one ugly Valentine cards in the works. All of these papers look beautiful with this card design. So you can totally have fun with it and just, just go wild. In addition, I also used various glimmer papers. I used the um, sparkle glimmer paper, which is, which is kind of a bright white with lots of big sparkles in it. And I also used the rose glimmer paper. So um, again, you can interchange these, put whichever one you want, whichever where you want it. And it's just lots of fun to do. So these are super fun to make. And that is the first card that we're going to focus on today. So I'm going to set this aside. We're gonna get out all of the supplies here that we need. And the first thing we're going to do is we need a card base to put this card on. So. It is four and a quarter by eight and a half, and then I've gone ahead and scored it at four and a quarter. So this is gonna give us one of those cute little square cards, and you can just go ahead and mail this in a regular medium-sized envelope. That's gonna work out great for you. Then I'm going to take my bone folder and just give this a little press here, and here it is, just such a cute, a cute little base to start everything off with. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put a white layer right here. So this is a three and seven eighths inch square layer. So this is not, um, it's just a little bit smaller than your standard four by four square because I wanted a little bit more of the flirty flamingo to show on the outside. And because this is going to be underneath another piece of paper, I'm going to go ahead and just use multi-purpose liquid glue because we don't really need to worry about whether or not glue lines show up because it's gonna be a hidden layer. The only thing that's going to show is the very 1 8 outer border of this paper. So we'll just put that right like that. Then we have to decide, do we want this card to stand up like a tent or do we want to op have it open it up 
open it up to the left like a more traditional card. I always want you to know why I choose to do the things that I do. Most people I feel like would be tempted to go with the tent style design. And that's easily done and it looks adorable. In fact, I did do that with this particular card here. But again, as I had this sitting out and I was looking at it and admiring it, one day I came down into my office and it was like this. <laughs> it just didn't stay up. And there's nothing that bugs me more about a card that doesn't stay standing. And so when I was designing these for my downline, I went ahead then and decided to go this way because that way I know the card is going to stay standing and it will not be you know, sloping downward with time. So that is what we're doing today. So our card is actually going to be orientated so that we open it up like a book, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is do another layer over the top of this Whisper White layer. So this is gonna be an eighth of an inch smaller. This is going to be three and three quarters inch square. Now, I can go ahead and use glue because little glue lines do not show through designer series paper. So I'm just gonna take my glue, just gonna do a nice skinny little line all the way along the border. And we're gonna set this right here and we'll just wiggle that into place so that we have all four white borders. All, um, all of that is even all the way around. Now on this card, it's not quite as impressive to see that white border. However, let me show you this card. It's much more impressive, you, and this card as well. When you have a little bit more of a contrast, you can see that border shows up gloriously. But that's not gonna stop me from using this paper because I love this paper. I think it's one of the prettiest ones in the pack. So that's why I picked it out to make a card for you today. All right, then we have to get our little Happy Valentine's Day prepared. So I've got a little scrap piece of Whisper White paper and we, well, you know what? I should really show you the stamp set we're using here. So in this incredible product suite, we have two different bundles. One is the meant to be bundle, and this is your basic Valentine's uh, stamp set. It's pretty much everything geared to Valentine's Day, and it has the stitched framelit hearts, and then this amazing wild crazy heart with all the little tiny hearts that you can make. And that one, I've already got it on my big shot, but that one looks like that. And I've had customers tell me they ordered this entire bundle because they were so crazy about that die. So I get that, I've done that too. I'm sure some of you have too. There's just one thing and you've gotta have it all. And then it also includes this other bundle which is for called Forever Lovely. And you can see that it um, has a really nice set of framelits that go with it. And this one can easily be used year round. Of course, it also has a happy Valentine's Day down here, which is what we're using on our card. Um, but it, it also could easily be a wedding card. I mean, I think it's a really personalized wedding card, like something you would make for your groom. It says, I'll love you until the day after forever. I mean, that works great for Valentine's Day too, but but it really could be a beautiful wedding card. Um, well, you know what? I take that back. Both of these could be beautiful wedding cards. I just guess I don't know what I'm talking about because this says, I love our life together. That's a great anniversary card. Nah, I take that back. I think this looks more like Valentine's and this looks more like a wedding slash love card. So anyway, it's fun to have you all here. Thank you for sticking with me while I'm blundering around here. But let me show you what the framelits look like. So this is the lovely flower, the lovely flower edgelets. Um, it's a set of 14 and it goes with the forever lovely stamp set. And you can see how you can do some beautiful layerings. It's just really fun. And then uh, the other one, that huge heart one that we're going to be using today Look at all of these different hearts and cutouts you can make. It's really kind of almost overwhelming. There's even an edgelet here that, that gives you sort of a scalloped edge border. Um, there were so many hearts, I couldn't even get this all onto a 12 by 12 piece of chipboard. So I actually had to layer up 
some of the hearts because some of the hearts just cut little stitched lines and some of the hearts actually cut the hearts out fully and give stitching on the inside. So I mean, it's really quite a set and once you get it, I encourage you to really work with it and use all of those different framelits so you can see the best way to use them. All right, enough talking. Let me get to stamping here. So I've got, uh-oh, I need to grab my lovely lipstick. And I really hope I have it in my turn thing. And I don't. How can I get ready for an entire Facebook Live and miss getting the ink pad? So I'll be right back. I had taken this ink pad home to the farm with me this weekend, and so that's why I still hadn't unpacked it from my bag, my big awesome craft and carry tote that I took with me to the farm. All right, so you're going to take the Happy Valentine's Day, and I would suggest using a Stampin' Mat because you're using the photopolymers here. So we're just gonna stamp Happy Valentine's Day, and then you're going to take the everyday label, nope, it's not the everyday label punch. I think it's called the classic label punch. You're gonna flip that upside down and just stamp that out. Just get it all centered in there and stamp that out. Then, you'll be so happy to know, you're going to take, and I even did this in advance, I'm so proud of myself, you're going to take three mini dimensionals and put that on the back because you want that raised up on your Valentine. So I already have that done. So now what the next thing that we're going to do is we need to um, cut out some little hearts. So I have some here. So I did do a little prep work, but I am gonna get the big shot into the picture because I wanna show you something. So as you know, I did this for my downline members and I did over 70 of these. And so one thing that you can do to make this go a little faster is take two pieces of the beautiful designer series paper and you're just gonna cut the hearts right out of the designer series paper. But if you stack your designer series paper when you're cutting, so you take the two pieces and stack them up and then you cut them into like strips like this so you can grab each heart um, easily and fit it in through the Big Shot machine. Oh my gosh, you can cut two at a time and it works fantastic. So let me show you. So I'm just gonna set this here and you're going to put one right here and then you're going to take the little one because we're gonna use this little heart on the inside and I will tell you this little heart is very jumpy. So just grab some washi tape, that's what I always do. That's, I do that all the time when I get kind of a jumpy framelit. It also helps to move that framelit around on your big shot so that it's um, maybe in a different position. Maybe that framelit wants a different position. You just have to ask it and they'll usually tell you what they want. But to be on the safe side, I'm gonna put a little bit of washi tape down. And as long as I got the washi tape here, I'll just connect it to that one too. And now it's ready to be run through the big shot. And so what we're doing is we're actually running two of these through at the same time. So I'm just going to double check, make sure everything is perfectly lined up. And it looks like it is. And we should be able to cut out two hearts, actually four hearts here all at the same time. So let's hope. Let's hope this goes well. If not, I've got backup. Okay, so <laughs> I did, I know this works because I did this for all 70 Valentines that I made. So now I'm just gonna run it through. And here we go. So let's, let's see if it worked. Good. I think it did. So you've got one heart here and one heart here and a couple of hearts here. Look how, how nice that is. Didn't that turn out great, you guys? So it's a nice way to get um, a cup, you know, get twice the amount of dyes done at the same time than what you normally would have done. 
Then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to run this bigger one through with glimmer paper. Now, I did do that in advance. Let me grab a... Oh, let's see. I'm looking for my paper piercing tool, but I don't see it. So I'm going to take my Take Your Pick tool, oh, which I don't see that either now. Good gravy. Well, I'm going to grab a pen. So you want to grab... You want to get this out, so I'm just poking I'm just poking at this to get this out because you want to take this out every time because if you don't take it out every time you're gonna have trouble cutting through all of this paper because it wants to stay in there so then you can keep this for something else or just toss that whatever whatever you want to do all right so I'm gonna take that aside and then let me show you what I did. So here is one of those little pieces that I was tossing just a second ago, but I don't want to toss the glimmer paper because this is part of my design. And then I also want to show you just one more little thing here. When I was working with this, notice I have these two stacked up. There was a heart here on the side that was cut off. And another heart over here that was cut off, but I didn't just throw those in the trash. Oh no, I cut those out because I felt like I could use those. So that's what we're going to do today. What you want to do is you want to take one of those half hearts and then go to the other side of the paper and grab the other half heart. And then just add a little bit of glue. And then you can go in here and just fit that in just, just like so. And then usually I just double check to make sure it's the correct size. And that looks right. And you have yourself a heart. Two-toned heart that you can use on your card. So I prepared one of these in advance because I wanted to make sure it was fully dry before I used it. And then, of course, this glimmer heart that you get when you run it through the Big Shot machine. This is the rose glimmer paper. You can set that aside and use that in another project. So what you want to do is flip this outline heart upside down, and then you're going to put this heart inside of it, and then you're going to take a little scotch tape, and you're just going to tape that in there. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just taping that heart kind of back together. And I like to use the scotch tape just because it's nice and quick. And I honestly don't know how I would do this if I didn't do the scotch tape. So we're here we have our little two-tone heart in rose glimmer paper. Um, and now we just need to put it on our card. So we're going to use this braided trim. And I think I have a little piece that I found in my scrap bag. So what you want to do is, again, I'm going to get a little uh, scotch tape ready here. I'm going to flip it over going to put some tape on that um, piece of braided trim and I just want to hold it in place and then what I'm going to do is just go like this so that you can see that trim all over here and then I'm going to flip it to the other side and I'm going to tape that down just like so. So here it is. So it looks like this. So you've got your braided trim sticking out on each side. And now what I'm going to do is just trim this piece off. So I'll grab my ribbon scissors here. Just snip this off about like so. And there we have this really, really cute little heart with the braided trim on there. And by the way, that's what I'm giving away on Wednesday. So if you are at my um, Stamping to Share Facebook page, be sure you uh, um, make a comment on this Facebook Live or share the Facebook Live and you will be in the drawing. And I have a little bit of the tape sticking out, so I'm just going to go in here and trim that off. All right, so now it's ready to be put on our card. So we're going to put that on with some dimensionals. So let me grab those. We're just going to flip this over and add dimensionals. So dimensionals will also hold things together for you. Um, and I think we only need about three of them. Two at the top and then one at the bottom. And then we're going to set this right here in the lower right hand corner. 
might think about like that looks really good. Well, maybe a little bit lower. Maybe a little bit more to the right. Okay, that looks good to me. Hopefully that all looks good to you. Isn't it pretty? Oh my goodness. And now the next thing you want to do is take your happy Valentine's Day that we prepared in advance. And we've got the little mini dimensionals on the back here. So I'm just going to take the peelies off. And then we're just going to set that right over the top of this heart, right down here. And our card is done on the front. Isn't that adorable? Then we have this little extra piece that we cut from our designer series paper. We're going to put that on the inside. So we're going to grab our uh, Stampin' Mat again. Open this up. We are going to get the lovely lipstick out. And this time I'm using a couple of uh, stamps where I put them both together on the block. So we've got a little burst of hearts up in the upper left. And then it says, wishing you a lovely day. So we'll ink this up. And again, this is the photopolymer stamp called Forever Lovely. Then we'll just go ahead and stamp this right here. And there it is. And then to give it the finishing touch, we'll add a little bit of glue to the back. And we'll add our little heart right here. And that kind of brings the um, outside of the paper to the inside of the card as well. Do you guys love it? So here's the card. And then, of course, we had all of these cards as well. And then I had even more designs because there's, you know, six different patterns with this designer series paper. But isn't it fun? It was so much fun to make. So are you guys bored? Do you want me to make that second card? Or would you like me to do that on a different day? I know I'm taking a little longer than normal. I'm just, I just had so much to share at the beginning of this. Um, so should I keep going or should I stop now and save it for another day so let me know I'll give you a couple of seconds to get caught up here this the next card I would make if you want me to make it is this one. Oh, we have Sue Thomas telling me she wants me to do the second card oh yes Deb yay Deb I haven't even had to use you today yet I sort of vaguely remembered everything I'm doing <laughs> so Deb wants the second card Teresa wants the second card Shannon wants the second oh you guys are so awesome Sherry wants a second card okay yay oh and we've got somebody working on Valentine's cards today Linda so she definitely wants me to keep going all right well then I will and I will tell you I may make mistakes on this because it has been so long since I've done this card I don't even know if I know how to do it anymore so let me um, grab some things that I prepped. So this beautiful card is pretty simple. So for those of you that don't want to spend a huge amount of time, um, you won't have to with this card, but it does use the big shot. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got our base piece right here. It's four and a quarter by 11 inches scored at five and a half. And we're going to fold it in half, take the bone folder, give that a good press, and there we go. So that's ready to go. No big deal there. Um, let me move this. i got to get a different big shot piece out here. So now we're going to do some big shotting. And like I said, I hope this works. So... Um, We've got our four by five and a quarter inch panel that we're going to put on the front of this card, but we have to do some things to it with the big shot. So I'm gonna remove this little post-it and we're gonna take this and we know that we want this to be about right here. So just kind of guesstimate, you want it to be about, a, I don't know, a third of the way down maybe. Cause you want room down here for a banner, okay? So we're gonna set this we're gonna set this here. I'm gonna stabilize it with some, some washi tape. So I'm gonna set it where I want it. And then I'm gonna grab a little more washi tape. And the reason is, is because I gotta flip this over and add some, add some adhesive paper. So let me, and again, I, I remember when I made this card, I, I did it and I didn't like initially how it worked, but then I've never gone back to figure out a better way to work it. So we'll see how it works. Um, 
Now what you want to do is flip it over and then you're going to take a piece of uh, multi-purpose liquid sheet. Liquid, no, not liquid. Multi-purpose adhesive sheets that's Stampin' Up! sells in the back of the catalog by the adhesive section. This is two and a half by five inches. Honestly, it wouldn't need to be this big, but I didn't want to underguesstimate. So then you take the peeling off just like this and do not touch this it is so incredibly sticky you will never get that stuff off your hands you'll have to use lotion or something we're gonna set this back here and give that a good press and hopefully it will be oh this came right off shoot okay so we want this to be here I think this is gonna work we'll see all right, so we're going to put this back down, and hopefully that adhesive sheet is right behind all of these hearts. Then we're going to take this sheet right here, and again, I already have my washi on here because it wanted to jump around. We're going to make sure that the scallop is towards the bottom, and you want it as tight to the bottom as possible. Otherwise, your card's not going to look quite right. All right, then we're going to put, okay, so what did I use? I used my magnetic platform. I used a cut plate. This is the same layering that I did on the other one, but forgot to tell you about it on the other one. Then I have my non-cut plate over the top. I have the Big Shot machine, and we're going to roll this through and just keep your fingers crossed that this works the way I think it's going to work. And I'm going to roll it back, give myself a better chance of getting all those hearts out of there real well. And let's see how this, how, whether or not this worked, okay? Well, obviously, the little tiny scalloped edge worked perfect. Look at that. It even puts stitching in for you. How cool. Now, let's take this off. Oh, yes, I think this worked. So we're going to pull this away. And ta-da! Look at that. You have your spot where you're gonna put all your hearts back in for your card, okay? And then here you have all your little hearts and we wanna take a bunch of these out, but I'm not gonna do that yet because I think I can just peel that away and all the hearts will, will go away, but we're gonna do some stamping before we get all distracted here. So I'm going to grab, so now we're using a different stamp set. We're using the meant to be bundle, which looks like this. And then, of course, I showed you in the beginning all those mazillion stitched hearts that you can create from all of the framelits in that, in that set. But we are going to, again, use the same ink color, which is called Lovely Lipstick. And we are going to just randomly stamp some hearts. I have to get my original card out here so I kind of know where to stamp them. Because I liked how I stamped it. But you just want to stamp those kind of all around, like so. Here's another one. One more down here. One more up here. And I think that looks good. It's kind of easy to go crazy when you're just doing something that you don't want it to be too much, but it's so much fun to do it that you just keep doing it. I'm sure all of you can relate. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and put this onto our card. Well, we have all this adhesive back here. We might as well use it. So I'm going to pull this away. And instant adhesive. But I don't want this bottom to be real floppy. So I'm just going, actually, I think I'll just keep with the whole adhesive idea. And I'll use some snail. I could use glue, but I think we'll use snail just to keep it all kind of the same. And then we're going to set this here, and the way to do this, okay, first of all, I've got to stand up. But the way to do this is to hold it in a corner and then just kind of eyeball the two corners where your thumbs are not at. And if those look good and lined up, then you're probably good to go. There we go. So that's it. So now I'm just going to press from the back, burnish it all down, and there we are. So we've got that much done. Now let's do our sentiment because we have to stamp that as well. So I've got the uh, Stampin' Pierce mat here and I've got a one by four inch panel of Whisper White paper. The first thing you want to do with this panel is cut it down to size. So we're going to take 
our triple banner punch and insert that all the way to the back where it can't go any further and just do a punch out and we've just created our really pretty banner then we're going to take again this ink which is our lovely lipstick ink and we're going to use the sentiment that says to the best friend a girl could ever ask for we're going to ink it up and then I think I think I need to stamp off once to see if this is lined up properly so I'm going to do this off camera so my head isn't in the way all right so I think Yes, I think I have this lined up pretty good. So all I want to do now is make sure that I'm leaving room for my ribbon over here on the right side. So that means I want to stamp the sentiment more to the left. So I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to go over here. Again, I have to stand up. All right, guys, keep your fingers crossed that this works. Oh, oh my gosh, I love it when things are perfect. So rarely happens. Okay, so to the best friend a girl could ever ask for, that turned out perfect. Um, we should also stamp the inside panel as long as we're stamping here. So we're going to take that fun little heart we had before, and we are going to stamp some just some little hearts here along the left side, just however many you want. Super cute. And then we're going to take a sentiment that says, Happy Valentine's Day. Oops, I better make sure I'm getting this in the photo. We'll just add our Happy Valentine's Day right here. And if you want, you could add some more hearts. Because, you know, it's Valentine's Day. You might as well go crazy. Not often you get to go crazy. There you go. So some cute, cute cards on the inside of the card. All right, now I'm going to set this all aside because our stamping is done. So now we have to grab some ribbon. So this is our combo pack in our all, let's see, what is it called? Oh boy. Deb, if you're still there, what is this ribbon combo pack called? This is the All My Love product suite, and there's a combo pack of ribbon in there that you can get. It's probably just called the All My Love combo pack, but I'm not sure. Um, but we're going to use the Flirty Flamingo. And I'm going to show you how I did this very, very tricky little ribbon tie on here. All right, so I'm going to take off my little pin that keeps everything together. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually tape this to the back. So we're taping that ribbon on. And then we're going to wrap it around three times. So one, two three and as you can see I kind of did like an X shape and then I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to take more scotch tape and we're just going to secure that ribbon down so it looks like that then I'm going to take my ribbon scissors again and just trim that so we have a really cute little X ribbon wrap but to give this the finishing touch, we're going to take another little section of ribbon. And you can just do this straight off the spool if you want to. But you're going to bring this in underneath. I'm going to turn it upside down here so I can work with it. And then right where that X kind of comes together in the middle is where you want to do your tie on. So we're just going to tie this on like so. And it's a pretty tight little tie-on, so you don't have to do a knot, but because I'm one of these people that just don't like to take chances with anything coming off my cards, I'm going to do a knot. So there we go. There's my cute little tie-on. Isn't that cute? All right, so there we go. We've got our cute little tie-on here. And... Let's see, did Deb tell me? Oh, she said it's the All My Love Ribbon Combo Pack. Thank you, Deb. Really appreciate that. All right, and I always do, I mean, some people just think I'm crazy, but I always secure my ribbon with a little pin because I cannot stand to see it unraveling all over my shelf. So these are little map pins. 
But I know there's lots of things that you guys do out there, and that's fine. Whatever you, whatever works for you. But this is what works for me. Okay, so now we're going to take this, and we're going to put it on with dimensionals. All right. Somewhere we have dimensionals. Here's some. And we're going to put it here. We'll just put three of them all the way across. Take off the peelies. And we'll set this right here so that the right-hand side comes flush to where the white of the card is. We're going to bring this down just a little bit. Make sure this is parallel here. And there we go. So we've got the front of the card almost done, except we need to add in what we had done on the big shot. So what I'm going to do is flip this around. Well, no, I'm not. I'm just going to take this. Oh, this peels right off. So look, all my little hearts stay sticky, except for this one. These here are not. So let me just get all this out of here. But the, the whole beauty of the multi-purpose liquid sheets is we don't have to try to use glue to put this on because this is going to go on with the adhesive and we're just going to layer this back in and where, when you find that it all fits that's when you want to burnish it down. Now make sure you don't have ink on your fingers because this is all whisper white and ink would just not make it look very good. If you want to be on the safe side Take something like a bone folder, and you're just going to burnish that down. There we go. So we have a beautiful secondary card here that I created today. So this, thank you, you guys, for going ahead and having me do this for you. I wasn't sure how how well I would do with it because it was. I I think I made this card initially in December, and I was planning and sharing with you last week or the week before, but then got sick. So here's the Valentine's card with this one. Here's the other cards that I made. This is the giveaway card. So I'll give away two of these cards. And then each person who wins on Wednesday will get um, two yards of the braided trim, which is a carryover from the holiday catalog. So you can still get this. And it's beautiful. I hope all of you have enjoyed this uh, Facebook Live broadcast. It was so nice to be back. So thank you. Um, and I'll wrap it up and just go ahead and um, be watching for the winners to be announced on Facebook on Wednesday morning. And I hope everyone has a great couple of days here and everyone stays well. I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye.